Sir Aschenfelder developed his formula by estimating a linear regression model. And you will see in this course that basically a lot, even so not all, of empirical economics uses linear regression or some variation of it. So he has a dependent variable on the left hand side, which measures the quality of a vintage. And this will be derived from the auction prices of the vines. We will come back later how this variable is exactly computed. And then he has different explanatory variables on the right hand side, which are basically all uh, numerical variables. So they have all some numbers for a particular vintage T. So we have the temperature, that's the average temperature from April to September uh, in the year T, uh, where the wine was grown, so for the vintage T. The rain, average rainfall in the winter months from October to March. Uh, and the average rainfall in, the, in August, um, where this vintage was harvested. And he also has a, another variable, age. And that basically denotes the age of the vintage at the time its quality is measured. And that's basically the time at which the auctions take place for which we have collected data to uh, analyze the average price of that vintage. For example, if, if we look at auctions in the year 1990, for the vintage from 1961, the age variable would be 29. Then we have here a final variable called UT, which is often called an error term. And you often use also an epsilon T uh, to denote it. Uh, basically, it measures all other factors that influence the dependent variable, so the quality of the vine, which we have not explicitly included as ex uh, planetary variables. Yeah, for example, there's some different weather factors. Maybe the rainfall in May also plays a role. So um, all these factors can influence it. So we, we can also call UT an unobserved quality shock of the vintage T. So that's all the other factors that influence the quality, which we don't explicitly account for in our uh, regression model. And then we have these betas. Beta zero, which is a constant, and uh, one coefficient beta for each of the explanatory variables. And these are the unknown coefficients that we want to estimate. And um, the exact interpretation of these coefficients can differ between the applications. In particular, sometimes we can interpret them in the causal fashion. So we could say um, beta 1 measures by how much one degree higher temperature uh, influences or causally affects the quality of the vine. Sometimes we will only say these are coefficients that tell us how um, these two variables are correlated or by how much a one degree high temperature affects our prediction of the quality, even so it does not necessarily uh, have a causal interpretation. But we will come back to this point later. That will be important in later applications in this course where we really, really want to estimate causal effects but do not necessarily always estimate them just by writing down such a simple regression. So this we'll discuss in much more detail during the course.